I'm going to be going to the Rouge Park in Detroit. And it's like I've been there once already with the my students from BIT that I observed. And from basically it was their launching point for their entire ninth grade curriculum where how does the the question that they're focused on particularly is how does the Rouge Park make the Cody Rouge neighborhood a more just community? And from the DIT Day in the Park, there was quite a quite a lot of information about the history of the park. And I'd like to further explore exactly what is all in the Rouge Park. As we can see, we have a long way to go. We are in the Rouge Park and there's the gun range from the like to be what's left of what was a road at one time that is no longer in use where very visibly we can see here an actual blocking of the road with a lot of shrubbery exactly why is this road no longer in use I don't know right now that is something that needs to be further explored with other parts of the park. Maybe there's a connection point on the other side of where it was all connected at one time. Other side of the Toboggan Hill. And here's the other side of the Toboggan Hill as we can see. That over there looks like it might have been an ice rink by the shape and there's lots of trash around. There looks to be a soccer field of some sort. And a building that has in need of repair, a pile of dirt. This seems to be a dumping place for people's trash. And as we can see, there are remnants of what was the asphalt that is the road. And this is overgrown by shrubbery now and small trees that are, well, probably, I'm going to say, between 30 and 40 years old. That, for the most part, and as we are approaching over here, we can see the Rouge River. Now here are some remnants of what's left of the bridge. And as we can see, this, there's the other side. Here's the side I'm on. It is obvious that this was intentional, that the bridge was taken out exactly why was this bridge taken out during white flight we need to further explore this and think of the reasons behind why is water so special exactly what political purpose geo geopolitical purpose would a bridge hold that people were willing to actually destroy the bridge here is the bridge that was torn down during the Detroit riots. As we can see, there is the location where it should be attached to on the other side, but isn't. And the Rouge River in between. We still have the cement is in place. It's just that the old the part of the bridge that goes over the river is what's been torn down. 
There's still the concrete that was used as part of the bridge here. It's just that and in on the other side you can see the sewer line well the sewer drain. And over here just the side of the bridge. There's a remaining tree stump there. The Rouge River is clearly still moving. Has a pretty steady current where we can tell from this that obviously the reason behind the name Rouge comes from the color of the river. From this discovery where it is very obvious that the bridge was intentionally destroyed to disconnect the Cody Rouge neighborhood with the other side, which I believe is part of Dearborn Heights. Considering this took place during the Detroit riots, this was very obviously racial relations related. And for them to actually, for the bridge to be taken down as a direct barrier to even for a person to even cross into from the Cody Rouge neighborhood over to Dearborn Heights, where the, this, where the Rouge Park also borders. This was done intentionally to separate the races, where this is very much a geopolitical issue. And starting with the Great Migration during the 50s up to the present day, the Cody Rouge neighborhood is a majority of an African American population, while over in Dearborn Heights is very much a white population. From taking a walk, that walk over to the actual bridge in the Rouge Park, I can very much see why at DIT they have it, their main curriculum question as what role does the, Cody, the Rouge Park play in creating a more just community for the Cody Rouge neighborhood. This is very much an issue where in order for the park to be taken care of and actually have where you see that pride being brought into the park from the people that not only use the park but take care of the park, it very much is taking back the neighborhood and breaking down the barriers that were created by the destroying of the bridge.